Uh, hello guys, what's going on? So, um, in this video, I will be uh, talking about what I think of Korea. Um, I, so there's a very... Um, before I came to Korea, a weird, very weird thing happened. Um, so, I was testing um, uh, every other day if you know I've got COVID. I never had COVID all in like three years time more than three years in Hong Kong um, but as I got to the UK uh, I got COVID one day before my flight it was weird because I was testing um, two nights before I yeah I I was negative and then um, I had to do my PCR test and then I had the PCR test to get results before midnight for my flight next early morning like 5 a.m. and then um, so 5 a.m. next morning the night before it was positive and then I was like oh damn boy it's like the line was very thin I, I was like maybe I can get rid of it uh, but um, I did the test and then I didn't get my results by midnight and I had to leave the house around 1am so I left the house um, and um, I got to the airport it was like 2am by this time I got the result. I was sitting there uh, waiting for the check-in and the results got the results it was, it was positive and I was like oh this I was really angry well yeah because I was upset and angry because I was supposed to get my results by midnight if if I had got my results by midnight, then I wouldn't have left the house. But now I had to change my flight, uh, which you know I didn't have the insurance for, so I had to book a new flight. And you know, like, and then yeah, and the crazy thing is, um, so that morning, right? So I, it was early in the morning at like two a.m. I got the results, went back home, and slept. So that very evening. At in-home test kit the night before I was tested positive well that the very next day the day of my flight the evening I was negative next morning negative next morning negative three days in a row negative and then I booked my another PCR test um, and then I booked my flight for the very next day and then I flew um, absolutely insane um, I yeah I like very next day I was like negative so yeah that was a crazy story and I got to Korea I had to do another test um, I did it and then I, I didn't get my results I was supposed to get negative results via um, text or email if I didn't get text or email then it was most likely positive and I didn't get text or email and then I went to the clinic and then the guy was like your test result is something like I've never seen before um, this and that and I was like yeah um, I told him what happened and then now I'm like uh, negative and then he was like yeah it's is like negative but it's not negative that kind of thing I'm like yeah I'm like no symptoms this and that and then the guy was like sorry I do not know what to do uh, you should contact the airport I guess he said and then I was like I'll try contacting the airport I tried to contact the airport I, you know like there was like we don't have a number for that case and then yeah I'm like okay so that's the story of um, like yeah um, but let's let's get to the real part where uh, I actually talk about what I think of Korea South Korea okay so um, um, it's it's all to do with perspective as well, uh, you know, because I've I've been living in Hong Kong for five six years now. I mostly grew up in the UK, so uh, there are similarities and differences between Hong Kong and Korea. Um, but um, uh, maybe aside from the comparison, I probably should talk about like Korea itself. Um, uh, interesting thing about Korea, well, I can talk about Seoul, 
uh, especially Gangnam and Yoksam area because my hotel is located um, well yeah right in between Gangnam and Yoksam area and the Gangnam uh, like the the bustling Gangnam area or the main Gangnam area is like walking distance from here this hotel is probably like three five minutes walk um, <clears throat> and it's pretty it's, it's a city like it is yeah it's definitely a city um, people are well um, well uh, well dressed um, I'm actually here in the rainy season I guess or the rainy season is just about to finish mm. It's been raining um, quite a bit actually. Mm, people are rather quite helpful uh, actually. Um, and the shocking number of, uh, like, it's quite shocking that quite a few number of people that, even young people, don't really speak English as much that I, than I had um, expected. Um, but yeah, the, obviously, yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty sure most young people do. Uh, maybe older generations don't, not so much. Um, uh, it's just okay, I guess. But yeah, uh, and uh, and also train stations. Um, I found it a little bit difficult to kind of navigate and stuff. Um, also, it'd be better if they had like. Uh, like customer service at the station, train station. Uh, there's like a counter for it, but I never really saw any person in there. So asking for information is like it was like just random strangers. Um, but yeah, uh, that um, to withdraw cash for Visa or Master or Amex or like international um, uh, service bank services. Yeah. You have to go to like a actual global or big banks. Um, I believe like the charge. There's a fee for it. It's probably like two percent. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Um, <clears throat> almost every sh uh, shops in in Seoul, except Visa, Master, or like Amex, um, like all these uh, international bank credit or debit cards. Uh, that's good. Um, Uber taxi or the taxi are quite affordable uh, compared to like uh, UK and even Hong Kong. Yeah, mm. quite handy. Bubble tea, like the coffee shops, are like also reasonable priced. Uh, it's re yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Um, oh, and um, you can like when you walk around the streets, it's like. Maybe in, in this area, I, I, in my head, in my eyes, I believe I I saw, so far, more girls with plastic surgery than not. So, insane. It's actually quite insane, uh, and you can actually tell uh, they've done like surgery. It's like, um, yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Um, it's quite normal here. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, you can actually tell because like, it's like the nose and the um, eyes and the cheeks. Um, that and also uh, people are quite in good shape yeah, in Seoul. Um, and yeah, um, what, what else? Oh yeah, weird thing is that like I speak to people in like English and then even though some people they speak English they like they keep talking to me in like Korean which was weird I guess not too weird because yeah in my, I don't know they're probably used to thinking like most people in Seoul are like Koreans or or whatnot um but yeah uh, that <coughs> And um, it's pretty self-sufficient. I, I, it's like I think like um, the thing about like Korea is like uh, Korea 
don't rely as, uh, on English or like Western um, lang or, or English I guess because even like remote controllers or like TV or like international like hotels let's say um, are mostly in Korean even like a lot of um, uh, restaurants and coffee shops <clears throat> in Seoul uh, uh, does not have English um, like menu yeah that's uh, pretty pretty insane um, food of course is very nice there's a lot of restaurants and cafes um, uh, yeah um, I, I'm actually here for I was um, all the events and parties are finished now uh, for the Korea blockchain week um, and yeah met a lot of people from like uh, blockchain web3 crypto community um, uh, yeah it's pretty good uh, yeah, it was actually really good the events and um, the parties uh, good music um, yeah, uh, so far I've been to uh, the Seoul, I went to the Seoul Tower, um, and yeah, it's, it was okay, I guess, it was, yeah, it was, it was an experience, um, all in all, I guess, uh, it's, it's, I probably need more time because I, I'm here for like, not even like three weeks now got like about like f uh, five day five days one week left give or take um, and yeah um, I will definitely be posting some videos and pictures of uh, Seoul Korea and I'll, t I'll be definitely definitely coming back for sure uh, it's just like I just got like a just a like, tiny sip of a plate uh, or, or, or a cup it's like a sip of Korea, or even just Seoul. Um, yeah, explore. Yeah, I think I've, I've explored like uh, Gangnam area, and also uh, Yoksam. Definitely, uh, I know I know the areas around Yoksam and Gangnam now, um, and also Epijong. What's that? Uh, the shopping area. And bars area, I forgot what it was called. Epujong, something like that. What is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Got it. Got done. Did some few shopping as well. Uh, got a nice hat. Um, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I guess this is it for for now. Uh, if there's more, I'll be adding on to the video. So yeah, stay tuned. And. Shall explore.